but like something that I wanted to like bring up with you is like, do you think that teams that are trying to go all in and trading all their picks is good for the NFL or yeah. is it like, I think it's great. hundred percent. I agree. hundred percent. I, I yeah. I think that it is a great thing because I, I think we're in an age where, um, like, all right. So the, the sport's always evolving, right? Like sports are always evolving and, you know, we never know like what the next trend is going to be. Right? right. And there was a trend that was started where it was like, build your team around a young quarterback because you can add more and spend money elsewhere. And the quarterback is the most important piece. So if you get a great quarterback right. on a rookie deal, you can build your team. Like, cr- like you could put a mass amount of talent around it. Right. Well, Number one, hitting a good young quarterback isn't as easy as it seems, dude. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, you could get a top five pick and hit the wrong quarterback, and then you're screwed, right? Yeah. So I understand the strategy. I think the best strategy is you find a quarterback. First of all, you could find him in free agency. You could find him in the draft. I mean, Russell Wilson was a third-round draft pick, right? Like, how many great quarterbacks are not first-round draft picks? There's a lot of them. So it's really identifying a good quarterback – Um, and then building a team or what you can do is get a ton of talent on defense and then just sign an older, like journeyman quarterback. Who's not going to turn the ball over a ton and you you can win that way too. Now, this is why I think the the Broncos are going to struggle a little bit is because they went with that, that ladder strategy, right? Where they brought in Teddy Bridgewater who doesn't turn the ball over and they still stunk. Right. You know what I mean? So they're really hoping Russell Wilson is that same Russell Wilson. Now, in the terms of trading multiple draft picks, the Rams, they identified Matthew Stafford. They got him in a trade for cheap, right? Because they found a team that was willing to rebuild in Detroit. And then they're like, okay, well, why hang on to these first-round picks? Like, let's go get some top-level guys. And then they go out and get a fucking Hall of Fame cornerback a Hall of Fame linebacker, pass rusher, et cetera, wide receiver, like they build up around him as a veteran, a guy you already right. know what he's going to give you. But that's not as easy as it is either. Right. So I, I really is think it, gonna be the same? I think it really depends on where your team is at, you know? Like, because if you have a great quarterback, it, yeah, you got to pay him. You got to, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And right. It's like, how and, do you build around okay. that? Yeah, and on top of that too, like if you're trading, like you like that Stafford example is like the perfect example of my point. It's like you trade under the Lions, right? The Lions are trying to improve. Like big name free agents aren't going to go to the Lions to help them improve, right? Like, I mean, look what Christian Kirk got paid uh in Jacksonville, right? And he's I mean, he's Christian <clears throat> Kirk, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's he's fine. He's but he ain't an eighty-four million dollar fucking receiver. You know what I'm saying? But you got to pay the tax because your team stinks. But I think right? I think building you you can't get too like you can't build only through free agency and you can't build only through the draft. Like there right. needs I to think be you a can, mixture. Yeah, I think you can only build in free agency if you have an established talented team like the yeah. Rams or you know. Well, just remember a team when that's the Eagles tried built. to do that though, and they had like the quote unquote dream team, and they fucking sucked. Yeah, I mean, it It just, like, either, like, I don't know, like, in my opinion, I think these good teams that are trading their draft picks to get, you know, talented players only benefits the shitty teams in the league right now. And then those teams will then get, get better. And in, like, two or three years when they're talent, if they, you know, make the right decisions, obviously, it's not a guarantee that you're going to draft, you know, num- you know, hits every time. But yeah. you draft these guys, you build up these guys, whatever the case is, then those, like, bottom feeder teams in a few years can be good, and then that's only good for the NFL. You well, know think, what I mean? Like, I think that's an interesting point about the Saints, and I, and I think that tells you, like, because I feel like teams that end up sucking for a long time, like, they get caught up in an area where they're, like, they're, okay, we're, we're good enough to compete, right? So they, like, hang on and they try to sustain that that team that they have that just competes right Mm -hmm. and then in the long run it ends up failing right whereas they could trade off good pieces and get more draft picks and build younger and then establish a good team that way yeah and then it's got to be a good 
mixture of there's got to be a balance two, right? yeah there's got to be a balance yeah. dude and and like, there's a lot of luck involved use... too to be honest oh 100 percent. like brady being brady right six like, round pick dude like right russell wilson even that? like you brought him up earlier third rounder and now you know he turned into what he was for seattle or whatever but like i think it's like a like a like a roller coaster if you will in the sense yep. of like you have to start young and start at the bottom because all these teams did like even like seattle back in the day you know they didn't sign the legion of boom well, they drafted, they drafted those guys yep. you know what i'm saying so like you built up through the draft but then they, and then they traded they for marshawn lynch right right then they brought in marshawn lynch you traded picks for marshawn lynch and then that made you know what i'm saying so like yep that's like a prime example of how you build a team now Yep. Like how you should build the team, how the NFL should work. And then there's teams like the Rams that are just like, hey, we're hella fucking good. So let's just keep adding on top of that because we only have a window of maybe two more years. But then in the long run, it, it hurts them because then they don't have, like they're not refilling their team with good draft picks. Right. Unless they're and then, unless yeah. they're constantly hitting fourth, fifth, sixth round picks, right. which in the NFL is a lot easier, dude. Like because a lot of these guys are undrafted, you know, that right. end up being good. So Right. And then you got the, then that's what you're seeing with the Saints right now. You know what I mean? Like yep. they did this exact thing. They built up, you know, built around Drew Brees, which I think is a completely smart. You know what I mean? They yep. did a lot of things to like help their quarterback, which is what you need to do. Like yep. uh, instead of being the fucking Packers, <laughs> who like don't help Aaron Rodgers at all. Well, I mean, dude, to be honest, like, I mean, this is a different conversation, but like, I think Mar- Marquez Val- Van Valdez Scantling is a good player, dude. Like, I think he's going to do just fine on the Chiefs, and I think people are going to look at Aaron Rodgers and be like, well, why can't Rodgers do this? You know what I mean? Like, Maybe. It I, could be. Rodgers is a great player, dude. Don't get me wrong, dude. But he is like – he he only throws, to like, who he absolutely trusts. Right. And sometimes he doesn't even throw to Devontae Adams because he don't even trust him. Like, that third down play where Devontae Adams was wide open and motherfucker hold, held on to the ball way too long, ended up having just to throw it away. That's here nor there, but I do think that the the Packers did something. I mean, they drafted AJ Dillon. AJ Dillon's dope. When they had Aaron Jones, yeah, but I'd rather have AJ Dillon in that kind of weather. Well, me too. Me too. I agree. But like, they never drafted it. The last first round receiver they took, dude, was fucking uh, Javon Walker in like two thousand one or some yeah, shit. Hell sometimes first day. round, sometimes first round pick receivers end up fucking stinking it up. Jalen Rager is like decent, like. I mean, they're all it's saying, all hit like, or miss, dude. At the end of the day, like yeah, sure, but like they still didn't draft a fucking receiver to help them when they needed receivers the whole time. They drafted Mar- Marquez Van Van Scowling. He wasn't it, dude. <laughs> you know, you have Devontae Adams. Like MBS should have been able to get open. Now, in all he fairness, did. how do you fucking know? he didn't fucking throw to him? Like yeah. I don't think it was more all on him. I also don't think MBS is gonna be. I mean, in Kansas City, he might be great because he's fast as shit. So like, so I'm saying, just dude, throw like, in the air, you know. Yeah. But it's gonna be. I mean, we shall see. It's gonna it's gonna be interesting and. I don't know. I, I feel like the draft is like you can you can identify great talent, dude, but you can never identify injuries because that's a thing that happens. You know, that's freak injuries, and you can also you never can identify. There's no science to identifying how a person is going to do once he gets drafted. Like, is he going to and work hard? You, you know, you can you can ask or that that too. But I mean, you can ask a million questions, dude, because anyone that's ever hired anybody. Like when you're interviewing someone, they're they want that job, dude. They're gonna give you every answer you want to hear. You know what I mean? Of course, it's like any interview any of us have ever been in. You know what I'm saying? Like anyone listening or watching, or you or I, like you go into the interview and like yes, you have your like answers for like the questions you think they're gonna have, but you're also thinking like, what do they want me to say? Yeah, absolutely. You know no one's gonna. Like, of course you do. Yeah. So it's like it's hard to identify, and if, if there was a perfect science to it. Like then every team would be good. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's definitely crazy.